Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome to WWE Slam. You join us just two nights away from our ECW One Night Stand special at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York, New York. Not only will we be celebrating the women of ECW, but we'll be crowning our very first tag team champions right here in WWE Slam. I'm the Revolution, and as always, you join me right here in the heart of Orlando, alongside my broadcast colleagues, Byron Saxon, Corey Graves, and the delightful Michael Cole. Over the last two weeks, the women of WWE Sam have been competing alongside WWE's greatest in a bid to claim tag team championship gold. In our opening round matches, the teams of Becky Lynch and Charlotte, the Bella Twins, Team BAD, and Los Guerrero Familia advanced onto our semi-finals, which take place right here tonight. In the first of our Tag Team Championship semi-finals, Team BAD take on the infamous Bella Twins before the team of Los Guerrero Familia take on Becky Lynch and Charlotte in our main event of the evening. Also, after a successful Open Challenge last week, who will challenge Raquel Diaz for the Slam Women's Championship in the Raquel Diaz Open Invitational? All that and more to come this evening right here in WWE Slam. Coming up this evening on WWE Slam, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair compete against Los Guerrero Familia members Emma and Sonya Deville for their shot at the Slam Women's Tag Team Championship. Will Vicky's personal favourites manage to pull out a win, or will the WWE veterans Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair send Los Guerrero Familia packing? Stay tuned to WWE Slam for our main event of the evening. Also later this evening, Raquel Diaz invites the WWE locker room to take part in her Raquel Diaz Open Invitational. However, up next now, opening match of the evening, Team BAD go toe to toe with Brie and Nikki Bella of the Bella Twins. It's Brie Bella, guys, and I can tell you this crowd has been waiting for this one. They're not the only ones, Cole. Get a load of Saxton. Would you close your jaw already?
Sasha Banks and Naomi, the bad girl. Here she comes, the boss, Sasha Banks. And it seems to me like the boss is looking to show who's in charge here tonight. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. And here's Brie Bella. How do you see her getting it done in this one? The boss isn't just some cute nickname, Cole. Sasha Banks earned that moniker, and her opposition will likely learn why here tonight. Here we go with Brie Bella in full control, working for control. If Nikki Bella hits this one, it's over. A simply gorgeous Hurricane Rana. Sasha Banks not looking her best right now. Her and her partner are making a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. Look out. There she goes. Sasha Banks got her there. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Back now inside the ring. Naomi looking for the pin. Just to reverse out of that one. Naomi feels awfully good about herself, and the crowd does too. There it is. 
this. It is. It's locked in. Game, set, match. This one is over. Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. Here are your winners, Sasha Banks and Naomi, the Bad Girl. Big win here in tag team action tonight. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. Wow, just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. As seen moments ago, Team VAD move on to the Slam Women's Championship Tag Team Tournament Finals after defeating the team of Brie and Nikki Bella, who will join Naomi and Sasha Banks in the finals in New York. Stay tuned to WWE Slam to find out in our main event of the evening as Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair take on Los Guerrero Familia. However, up next, who will answer Raquel Diaz's open invitational as she puts the Slam Women's Championship on the line? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. Well, to say she looks ready to go here might just be an understatement. Yeah, Cole, she's been looking forward to this one for a very long time. And it sounds like this crowd has been, too.
Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Well, she certainly has her work cut out for her. And Byron, tell me, what do you think of her chances here tonight? Well, given how dominant the champs looked as of late, I have to say that I'm not wild about her chances here tonight. But hey, crazier things have happened. Introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Introducing the champion from El Paso, Texas. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Stay tuned. And these superstars look more than ready to get going here. We're underway here, and as a reminder, this match is for all the marbles as the championship is on the line. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. Hook with the She's looking at it early. Give us your thoughts about Diaz. Early in the going here, what do you think she needs to do to defend her title? The prestige of holding a singles title certainly hasn't been lost. Just look at the ferocity with which these two are competing. Right about now, she's wondering if being a champion is all it's cracked up to be. Tough matchup. An early pin attempt. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. She is ready for a fight tonight. Attempt here. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. She's not done yet. And she delivers a lightning quick strike. Looking for the quick pin. Plenty of fight left. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. The side slam takes her down. Is there nothing she can't do? And a perfectly executed stretch. The challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. That elbow will leave you dazed. The champ's on the defensive now. She knows she's going to have to bring her A game if she wants to leave her gold intact here tonight. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. I don't think during her pre-match preparation she expected that. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. And there's the counter. 
She seems intent on injuring that back. We're looking at complete domination here. She is on fire. She's able to get out of the way there. She might have it. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. She's in complete control here, guys. another look. Yeah, I want to see that again. Three. She comes up big with the reversal. That's a sweep. I don't think she expected to have her feet kicked out from under her like that. Running out of time here. Oh, come on. Get in there. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And she's toying with her now. One more shot and she's done. Talk about sending a message. What power, what a slam, what damage. Not so fast. A bad place to be for the challenger. This is not where she wants to be if she wants to become champion. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point. Look at this! She counters before it's too late. Now there's the counter. Kinging out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. She just will not give up, Cole. And she turns it around on her. Nice move. One, two. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She's off on that one, Corey. You can say that again. Takes her out with a side slam. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. This could be the one that ends her. Look at this. The champ kicks out at two and a half. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. She's got her where she wants her. And she hits the drop kick. Man, she's rolling now. Had that one well scouted. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten in battle. Ill-advised move. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Avoids trouble there. Here's the pin. Title on the line. The champ retains.
Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match. It would seem the tension between Alicia Fox and the Iconics is far from over after a brutal attack from the Iconics early in this evening during the Raquel Diaz Open Invitational. Thankfully, Alicia Fox will get her shot at revenge this coming Monday as it was announced just moments ago that at ECW One Night Stand, the Iconics will take on Alicia Fox and a partner of her choosing in a tag team match. Who will come to the aid of Alicia Fox? Be sure to tune in to WWE Slam this Monday for ECW One Night Stand. However, up next, Bailey has a few choice words for the WWE Universe after falling victim to both Nia Jax and Karma in recent weeks. Well, she definitely looks ready for this one, Corey. Would you agree? I'd agree with that, Cole. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. She's always prepared. Simply put, she's a professional. As a reminder, guys, this one will be a handicap match featuring two superstars against one. Oh, we don't need a reminder, Cole, though I'm willing to bet that after this one, somebody's going to need a reminder on what their name is. 
Now, what about you, Corey? Do you like her chances here tonight? I like her chances every night, Cole. In fact, I'd say she's without a doubt one of the most talented women we've ever seen in WWE. And her partner, from California, Awesome Call. Corey, when you're outnumbered like this, what can you possibly do to succeed in a handicap match? In a case like this, it's not necessarily about winning the match. Instead, I think it's more about living to fight another. If you can do that, you've succeeded. And to build on that, when it comes to the women's division, I'd say it doesn't get much more exciting than this. You are right, Cole. This one should be great, especially considering the incredible talent level of these women in the ring right now. It's go time, fellas. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Ah, that one hurt. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Hits her with a stiff elbow. For the benefit of our newer audience members, what can they expect to see from this woman? Listen, I know Bailey's excitement level's contagious, but I swear, if you try to hug me, Saxton, I'll put you down like a ton of bricks right here in front of this entire arena. And the double team does the job. She seems intent on injuring that back. Got it. Looks like Bailey's getting pushed to the limit here. She doesn't want to let this handicap match get out of control. I'm not ready to write her off yet, guys. Look at the look on her face. She may be in agony, but I don't expect her to roll over. Not now, not ever. I don't care what the match stipulations are. It's not looking great, but I've never seen her give less than 100%, and I don't expect that to change here. She comes up with a slam. It, is that it? Is it over? This night could be over for Bailey. This handicap matchup's in the books.
it looks as though the tension between Karma and Nijak has truly reached its boiling point as seen more must go during their vicious decimation of fan favourite Bailey. During our commercial break, it was revealed by Interim General Manager Vicky Guerrero that Karma and Nijak will attempt to settle their differences this coming Monday once and for all in a steel cage match. Will the four sides of steel prove enough to hold these two monstrous athletes? Tune in to our ECW One Night Stand special this Monday to find out. We'd also like to send our thoughts to Bailey, who is recovering backstage with WWE doctors after suffering yet another injury in recent months. However, the show must go on, and up next in our main event of the evening, Los Guerrero Familia take on Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair in the last of our semi-finals. He will advance onto our Tag Team Championship ladder match this coming Monday, our main event starts right now. the way from Melbourne, Australia, it's Emma. And no surprise here, but she's looking like she's all business here tonight, guys. This one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. They're struggling for control right now. Charlotte making a move. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Talk a little about Emma. 
In a tag team, everybody has a part to play. What does she need to do to contribute here? She's got her game face on, Cole, and if it's not just her, her partner does too. You really have to like their chances here tonight. Well, so much can happen in this type of matchup. If she wants to leave here tonight victorious, she needs to be aware of her surroundings at all times. Great offense by Emma. Lands the boot there. Charlotte not in a great way here. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's a quick finish. Can she do it? Plenty of fight left. What a kick out. We might be seeing Emma in some trouble here. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. Oh, yeah, here's Charlotte. Ow, oh, that could break a nose. Charlotte finds herself in a tough spot. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. Putting it all on the line. Oh, and she gets her with the elbow. this power. She's just so dominant. She's looking at it early. And a test here for Charlotte. She has to formulate a plan quickly to get things going. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. His partner must feel absolutely helpless right now. The only thing he can do is stand there and watch his guy get completely decimated. Wow, I really expected so much more from her here tonight. It's like she didn't even show up. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Great offense by Charlotte. And there's the tag, Becky Lynch into the ring. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Now we have Becky Lynch on the attack. Becky Lynch with good timing there. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, the reversal. 
reversal by Becky Lynch. She's in control. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Clearly not enough damage done. Connects with a counter. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Look at her here. She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Becky Lynch makes the cover. You're not going to get her that easy. She is ready for a fight tonight. Now we have Becky Lynch on the attack. Camel clutch locked in. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. <laughs> Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. Emma makes the tag. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Becky Lynch with the offense. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. They got it. Victory. Michael, your pride definitely takes a hit when you're forced to tap out. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host of Revolution and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution or head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam because you never know who might turn up. Until next time.